Good morning. It's Friday morning. I'm Scott Cullen, Editor-in-Chief of the Canada Report. It's time for Fridays with Frank. Before I bring on Frank and his special guest, a reminder, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you're so inclined, please send Frank some questions. And now, please welcome our founder, Frank Canada. Hey, Frank, how you doing today? And I can't wait to see who you brought along with you this morning. I'm glad to be here. I'm fully awake and ready to go. So, we're very fortunate today. We have a, a, a guest that I think is offering something that is quite significant to our audience, and we're so pleased to have him. It's Noel O'Dwyer from Intermedia. Good morning, Noel. Welcome. Good morning, Frank, and thank you so much for, for having us here. And um, you know, delighted to have this opportunity. I've been watching Fridays with Frank now for actually a number of years prior to Intermedia even, so looking forward to this. When we have a guest on... Um, we like to hear from them what they what they think their value proposition is to our audience because we both I think we both agree that that's most important when we talk yeah. to prospective uh, or people who may be interested in what we have to offer. So if you can, let's address that. So what we have, what Intermediate does is we've got a, a cloud hosted communications platform and probably a fancy way of taking taking your phone systems and all your ways that you communicate within an organization and transitioning that to the cloud. So that's the, the actual solution that we bring. The value proposition to the office equipment dealer channel is actually what I call natural evolution. Um, I think at one stage, you know, we, we talked about diversification and how we can be part of a diversification strategy. In fact, I'll challenge that and say that Intermedia is not part of a diversification strategy. It's part of a natural evolution of your business to bring you into a massively growing market. Um, and that's what we're, we're excited about. So what Intermedia is bringing to the table is a solution that addresses one of the most fundamental elements of the office workspace, which is the phone system. How does it, uh, a dealer employ it within his IT strategy? Yeah, so, so it, and it's kind of interesting because in fact, some of the conversations that we've had over the last number of weeks with, with dealers is where they've, they've realized, some of the dealers have realized that it's not a separate managed IT solution. It's in fact a solution that their, their, their own copier salespeople that they can sell as part of their copier sales uh, infrastructure. Um, and that has been a kind of a, a, a great awakening for us. We have uh, one dealer, I won't mention their name down in New Jersey, who actually mentioned that as they moved into this new business, they were thinking, hey, we'll have to go third party. We don't have a large managed IT service offering. Um, and so they were thinking of outsourcing that first level of support that's required to resell the product. Uh, which, by the way, we're unique in uh, as far as you know, some of the dealers, uh, other vendors out there don't offer that resale option. Um, but in in doing that, the, the dealer looked at it and said, hey, do I need to you know, bring on somebody different or use a third party, given that I don't have my own managed IT? And what they realized very quickly is that with the training that we provide and how intuitive the solution is, that that level one's calls uh reaction or support is not that big a deal at all. And in fact, they're actually doing it with an admin person. Uh, so we've managed to you know, take this as while it does get you in, it's a non-ramp into managed IT and it's a very significant monthly recurring revenue opportunity for dealers. They should not look at it as something extra that they have to do or add into a, a, a separate managed IT function. If I understand you correctly, this is so, this this is something a dealer can pick up and use independent of any IT capability. Am, am I correct in that, in that assumption? We have some large organizations that certainly you know have managed IT functions within their organizations. Companies like POA, Loeffler, uh, Gordon Flesh, Night Office Systems, Function Four. I can go on. We've got over 125 dealers. In our in our portfolio now as as customers of ours, but we've also got the you know a couple of companies like two people, we've got companies where it's five, ten, fifteen people, and they don't have managed IT, um, and they've been able to embrace our solution in a reseller model and have been very very successful with it. What we're really 
delighted with, Frank, is just the growth of not just registration and new recruitment, but the growth of the business, the MRR business, monthly recurring revenue business, with our existing partners. Uh, so their business is growing as they start to more and more embrace the solution and their salespeople get more and more comfortable introducing the solution to their to their uh, to their customer base. And the other the other part of this and the reason why it's such, you know, we're seeing such an interest and strong interest and growth is the fact that it's a massively growing market, Frank, um, you know, and driven by two factors. We all know about them. You know, we live through the COVID days, you know, the hybrid workspace. You know, that's driving a, a need for a unique way of doing, not a unique way, but a different way of doing business than what we're used to. People are working from home. People are mobile. People are in the office. And we need to be able to support that work infrastructure. You can't do that with a traditional telephone system. Um, we can we can bring that to the table. The other part of it, so that's one element. The second element that's driving it is that the cloud infrastructure movement, or sorry, the infrastructure movement to the cloud um and that's a massive growing market it's it's a 79 billion dollar market um of the existing telephones just something like 450 million individual telephone users out there that ultimately will be moving to the cloud and and there's a very small percentage of them there so what we're here to do is help that transition and that's what's creating a massive opportunity for for our dealer community, I'm impressed. I mean, I I thought we were going to have a, a much deeper discussion from the standpoint of technology, but what you're telling me this is pretty simple. Uh, it's it, it's simple. I mean, obviously, there's there's a there's a lot under the yeah. You know, as you peel back the onion, there's a lot under the cover that we're not going to cover here in the short time that we have. I'm going to be reaching out to you, and I'm going to write a frankly speaking piece about this because. I think it's it's worthy of further explanation rather than just a quick visit on Fridays with Frank. I want to thank you very much for joining us and sharing us your very, very interesting story. And many thanks to you, Frank, and to you, Scott. It was a pleasure.